Welcome to Kanjira's whatever this is. Conjurer's kit and gameplay revolves entirely around her divination mechanic. This mechanic may seem random at first, but it actually follows a set pattern. Each divination enhances one of her respective skills, and you can easily identify which one is active in three ways. 1. The card gets the arrow at its upper left corner. 2. Conjurer's bracelet changes color. Green for emerald, white for pearl, red for agate. 3. You can check the buff above her HP bar. It will look like the card design and also has a description. Kendra's main skill if you are using her alongside Jessica. When under Emerald Divination, she will apply two stacks of poison with a single use of this skill, which is, in most cases, enough to cover the needs of Jessica's white blankie. It also lasts enough for Kendra herself if you are using her as a DPS with Blasphemer of Night, if you have her at Portray 1. Kendra's strongest source of raw damage. When under Pearl Divination, it can inflict stacks of confusion from level 1, making it very easy to add several stacks that can benefit Kendra herself or other teammates who are crit oriented. I'd call it Discount Tooth Fairy. This ultimate's base damage is very low, as it is usual for mass ultimates. It can, however, enjoy a lot of additional multipliers from Kendra's passives, especially if you have her at Portrait 3 or above, which allows it to become a good tool to clean up groups of enemies, even if it's still arguably Kendra's weakest tool. Kendra doesn't need any portrait to perform her job. However, if you want to make your life easier, Portray 1 helps significantly when using her for poison teams, while Portray 3 is her best cost benefit for those who want to use Kendra as a true DPS. The alternate poison team for those who don't have Sodeby. The upside of this team is that by taking advantage of Emerald Divination, Kendra can apply two stacks of poison with a single attack, which is better than Sotheby's two uses of triple the dose, as it saves you one AP that can be used for an extra Jessica attack or something else. The downside is that Sotheby is still better if you are dealing with multiple enemies. And by adding Kendra to the team, you lose the support slot that could have been filled by someone who brings more to the table, like Beacon Bloom or N and Lee. Tooth Fairy is the ideal healer for this team, since she can make Jessica crit more often. Uh, can I replace it? The budget team. Sima brings a lot of utility to the table himself, and can be used in other plant team variations as well such as the Kendra plus Dravis team. He is very cheap to raise and doesn't deal much damage himself, but he compensates by buffing Kendra and bringing Silence and Seal to the table, all very useful tools that can ensure the success of the team for those who are just starting or don't have many resources at disposal. Kendra's poison can deal a surprising amount of damage since she can apply several lasting stacks at once. 
She can also work on a more crit-oriented scenario, since despite her relative low base critical rate, she can apply confusion stacks with ease. This opens the door for many combination options, even outside the plant aflatus. The only caveat is remembering to manage her passive well and not miss her dance steps. Shah will let me go further to other towns if I learnt another 500 birds. <laughs> 